The journey to Scotland takes us through the scenic countryside as we snake our way into Glasgow. Glasgow has no sign of sunshine despite this being summer. It is a country where it rains for most part of the day and even after a season in Scotland, Victor Mugubiwanyama still finds it a challenge. Weather pia si poa sana. Na nikungana tu saa weather inabadilika kila saa but hii ndio tumeshazoea. Just to go back in time, real football started at the Country Bus AFC in Nairobi. The then coach of the local team gave him a chance to launch his career in football. His name was uh, Amigo and he passed away. Uh, he was the one who, I think, I will say he spotted my talent. He then signed for Jean-Marie's JMJ Academy, which shipped him to Anderlecht Academy in Belgium when he was just 16 years old. He then moved to Germino Bishot in the Belgian League. At Bishot, this is where he proved his worth with various clubs chasing his signature. I was like a regular player, started for their side, like uh, played like almost every game. And then um, after the season, I, I had a couple of teams interested in me. And then um, luckily Celtic uh, signed me and then I, ca I came over here in the summer. After arriving in Scotland, his debut for Celtic was a nightmare. The first game was like against Anderlecht again. It was not a good moment for me because I came in, then I get sent off for bad tackle. It wasn't an easy, an easy uh, time for me because my first debut then get sent off. His combative style of play comes from watching his role models who are well-established players in the English Premier League. I like the Essien and Mikel. Uh, I think uh, they are great players and uh, they always impress me when they, they're playing. The culture of cheering and chanting fans is well established in Kenya, but at Celtic, they have taken it a notch higher. Just listen to this. And it's not just the fans at the stadium. Far away in Asia, Mugubi also has fans. It's always nice like to to see the fans uh, uh, behind you like chanting your name and I've I've always been uh, very happy since I joined here cuz uh, the fans they have been our fans they have been always great like supporting the uh, the team they were always behind the team Mugubi says he's adopting well to life in Scotland Despite winning the Scottish Championship in his first season and also winning the Player of the Month in November last year, Mugubi says he's about to show his full potential to the Scottish League this season. Season ya kwanza imekuwa po. Na sasa hii ndio tunataka kuanza but hii hopefully pia nishajua vile league iko na kila kitu vinaenda so I think it was better than last season. This is typical Scottish weather for the better part of the year for Victor Wanyama and his teammates. They are used to these conditions because this is how they train and this is the situation even on game day. Away from the pitch, Mugubi lives all alone in a three-bedroom apartment. Here you find what he loves most. Always remembers home with a Kenyan flag proudly displayed in his house. In his kitchen, you find evidence of his previous meal of ugali, fish, and sukuma wiki. Me who miss chakula home, kama kwa hii dona juu, chakula home dio the best. Me who jaribu, me who jaribu tu kupika, but si kama home. Na jaribu kupika, but I kuipo kwa home. Memories of his first season are also here. The champagne bottle for the player of the month of November 2011 is untouched. And out of the hundreds of photos taken of him in the Scottish League, only one is framed and autographed. The story of Picha ni ni ile boyangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ba poa sana na yoni kumbusha yonde yoni kumbusha debut yangu na boyangu ya kwanza. And his jersey has an unusual and unique number of 67. Nama nisha ile school alishinda. Champions League, uh, only Shinda Kila Kitu. After just a season, the transfer rumor mills linked Mugubi with not less than seven clubs, all from across the border in the English Premier League. Kuliko nezo rumors na club pia waliko wataki, wazi, sidani kama club yangu nezo ataka kuna chidia. Onajaribu kujenga team, so 
hawezi takakuachilia mchezaji yote kwa sasa ba club ndio inaamua so siwezi jua in scotland his only true friend here is zimbabwean he has been instrumental in ensuring that Mugubi settles in well in Scotland and learns the culture and his way around the country. Mugubi is now a big player both at home in Kenya and in Scotland. Any news on him is big news and makes the headlines across both countries. His parting shot is Kenya's football culture has to change for the results to be realized on the pitch. Kiona katika club kubwa kubwa. Kila club lazima watu wako pamoja kama vile umeona hapa. So hiyo umoja Sometimes in 2013, Mugubi will be accompanied by some of his teammates at Celtic and backroom staff from Celtic in a visit to his home country where they will visit Kibera Celtic, a local team in Nairobi.